So my name is Oberon Jalil Odum and I am the National Coordinator of Inclusion Ghana. Inclusion Ghana is a network um, organization um, consisting of many uh, NGOs who are working with families and persons with intellectual disability. We started in 2006 as a very loose um, network um, bringing together several NGOs who have been working with families um, and persons with intellectual disability I mean from across the country to bring them all together to unify their voice and make sure that an organization is advocating you know on behalf of all of them nationally and so we brought together I mean several parents so we we go from one community to the other and basically bring parents together to form what we call the parent self-help groups supporting each, each other um, sharing experiences trying to fight stigma and discrimination in the communities that they are they are working in or they are living in. And in Ghana, we have over 150 parent self help groups across you know, the country. Yeah. Education, we've supported you know, the government of Ghana to recently draft what we call the inclusive education policy. policy. Yeah. And we know that government sometimes are a bit you know, slow when it comes to these things. So we are going to do a lot of advocacy around the country and that is one of the projects that we are implementing right now. Um, we also have done projects in health. We brought persons with ID closer to healthcare. We've done a lot of trainings around the country with health professionals, giving them understanding of their peculiar challenges and how they can support them when they come to the hospitals. And we've done access to justice where we brought um, judicial professionals together, the police, the social welfare, the lawyers, the judges together to talk about how are we going to you know, deal with this situation, uh, changes in policies or things like that to ensure that they can get the best in access to justice. And self-advocacy is also a very new niche for us. We see that as a very huge area. We know that uh, people from, you know, most developed countries have done this. We are learning from them. Um, we've started a self-advocacy movement. We've done trainings for some people. Now we want to give them support to see how they will be able to advocate for themselves. And I think being a global movement, inclusion in International provides a lot of value for you know people like us uh, um, we can get you know best practices shared members you know have done things that we have not done it will be an opportunity for us to get some value um, we see inclusion international as you know um, um, a movement or the global uh, organization that can also speak on our behalf with government whether at the African Union level or at the UN level, I mean, to make sure that governments become more serious with, you know, issues of intellectual disability.